you know, heads up, parents, they're in up, they're in up purchases for this game. You know, you might want to take a look at it before your kids get a hold of it. Uh, but as Polygon pointed out in an op-ed article, uh, you might as well just slap this label on literally anything you play with control or keyboard. Because, you know, loot boxes, microtransactions, DLC, they're not the exception to the rule. They're everywhere. And they're also, they are obvious, and you know, the reason why they're trying to head this off is because any kind of regulation would necessarily bite into their profits, obviously. Um, and they're also worried about uh, overly excessive regulation that, you know, some, the uh, Entertainment Software Association is on record saying, you know, our random loot drop's going to be made illegal because of legislation like this. You know, can you play an RPG anymore without random loot drops? Um, you know, they've also, they're also, you know, worried about infringements on their free speech. They try to pull the censorship card, even though it doesn't, that doesn't really make sense if you think about it for half a second. Um, so, in, so my opinion as to what should be done as a gamer, uh, you can, there are a couple of options. You can ban loot boxes outright. Um, you know, regardless of industry protestation, I personally think they're gambling. I think and there are a lot of people that do agree with that position, and you know, you could just nip this problem bud by just not doing it anymore, and don't let anyone do it anymore. Uh, but if you don't want to ban them outright, you can restrict how they're used. Current loot box models. Uh, Watch your priests. Current loot box models, uh, you know, don't include a checklist for the stuff you get in them, which could reduce the. The random, the sort of, sort of random chances. Just Jones is just um, pulling out someone's. Or, or you know, or you know, you could just you know take out the option to purchase them with real world money. You could still buy the loot box, but you know you'd have to do, you'd have to grind to get them. You know, play the game to get them instead of paying, you know, with your own money. Or you could just return to the paid DLC, paid DLC option. You know, you can still, you know, I think that works best for everybody. You're not going to get accused of running a casino out of your Xbox. Um, you know, if you want to get something, you can just buy it. And you know, it's and you know, there's only a finite amount of stuff you can actually buy, so people aren't going to be spending thousands and thousands of dollars. Or you know, you're not going to wake up and find that your kids have spent ten thousand dollars on something. I think that works best for everybody. Um, and you know, I think that you know, federal government is probably the best option to make that happen because the industry is not going to do it, and gamers apparently don't want it to happen either, judging by how much money they're spending. And that's why I think industry regulation is kind of necessary. So, any questions? Any? <laughs> um, sure. What is the what is DLC actually stand for? Uh, downloadable, downloadable content. Downloadable content. Downloadable content. Yep. yep. <coughs> content, that you down, content that you download. Oh uh, yeah. So it seems kind of funny that demand regulation is something that's completely voluntary and you know somewhat frivolous activity. Mm -hmm. I mean, oh, when you can make an argument for that, I mean, you, uh, you can. I, I mean, you know, you, you can. And people are arguing that why do we need why do we need the government to step in? And I think I think you do because I think uh, you're. I think I think you know, there is an exploitative aspect of loot boxes. They tend. They you know they if you buy if you play a game and you buy one. Um, you get a bunch of stuff, and then there's a lot of fanfare with it, celebrating the fact that you bought this. And then there's, but then you don't get what you want. And then it's like, well, I kind of do want to get this particular thing, so I'll maybe I'll buy, maybe I'll buy some more, 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 and then it kind of spirals. And you know, if you're, and, you, know, if you, you know, if you're spending thousands of dollars on this, you know, you might have a problem. Or you, you might have a lot of money to spend, or you might have an addiction issue or a gambling issue. And if I, I think it's kind of, it's not illegal to exploit this, but it's definitely erring on the side of unethical. And I think you know, you, you can enforce this, or you can at least get the industry to explain itself. You don't necessarily have to tell companies, don't do this, and you know, we'll fine you if you do. But you can get them to be like, okay, level with you here, we don't actually need to do this. And then you can kind of shame them into, hey, you don't need to do this. Why are you doing this? Nine-year-olds. Yes, you're, you're getting nine-year-olds. You're getting nine-year-olds to find to finance, you know, your yacht. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the, the big problem is sort of like yeah. my talk is the psychology of it. I was joking about, you know, we're becoming a nation of pigeons. You have, what these games are essentially a Skinner box. You know, you have this, you perform an action which creates an intermittent reward. You know, so you're the big. You're a pigeon in Skinner's box, and that, yeah, before long, it's like incurred it in, insert a coin in the slot, and sometimes you get a reward, and that you know that turns on those 
you know, those neurons of the brain that may put in more and more and more and more money. And because you're worried you might not get enough because it always doesn't and, always give you the reward. And, <coughs> and and there is and there is definitely an addictive quality to video games. I'm not gonna stand here and tell you that I'm not, I am not addicted to video games in some sense I am. We should do it. Yeah. Hey look you though, but in terms of priorities in society, I mean the lottery. Okay, you know, the lottery, which is like, I consider a tax on the poor, like, I spend money, buy lottery ticket. I mean, do you think the lottery should be illegal? <laughs> no, I don't, think, I don't think the gambling per se should be illegal. Um, but, you know, the, 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 the lottery, there's an age, there's an age restriction. Yeah. You know, right. kids, kids can't buy this. You know, if you go to a casino, kids can't uh, get on the machines. And, you know, in, in, in but some... But how much, but there's, that with children, the restriction with children is what they have available in terms of money, which is their parents. So, I mean, if you, if you have a kid that plays a video game, they don't have unlimited money unless you're silly enough to give them a credit card. Couldn't you make system, right? Couldn't What's you make the same argument for a casino, though? I mean, what's what's the difference? Well, that's well, ex that's exactly my point. Is in, in, in terms so of I mean, we have rules for we have legal rules for who can actually be gambling and who can't. It's, it's nothing to do with their parents and, aren't even and, in the equation anymore. And, and you know, and you know, so the, the, the state the state lottery does you know say, hey, if you've got an issue with this, you should probably go get help. And casinos do the same thing, but video game companies don't even mention this. Yeah, you know, they're you know video games aren't pushing people towards the video game tri addiction treatment clinic. You know? But is the, but but the video game itself is addictive, not the downloadable content. Oh, about it. I, I, mean, I would I would definitely argue that it is. Yeah. Um, but if you're if you're buying, if you're buying it out of a loot box, especially. But you but, don't think the actual playing of the game in and of itself is an addictive no, thing? No, I no, playing the game itself is addictive, and you know I think most you know adults you know who buy the games know that going in. I'm not just, I'm, you know, I play video games. I'm in some ways addicted to video games, but you know, I'm, I'm a, I, you know, I, I don't necessarily buy DLC. I don't buy games that have loot boxes in them. Uh -huh. Like I'm not playing Overwatch. I'm not playing Star Wars Battlefront 2. For me, you know, knowing that there's a loot box system in the game is a strike against it, because I know. What that, that I might, you're that I might self regulating. Yeah, I'm self, I'm self regulating. But there's some people who can't self regulate. But like, you're an adult. And I'm an adult. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm arguably an adult, but <laughs> you <laughs> aged out of childhood. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I guess I'm not remembering exactly what you thought was the issue. The regulation that you are looking. The regulation that I'd like, that I personally would like to see, is I'd like to see the, you know, I don't think you necessarily have to ban the monument, but I think that you should take the real world currency aspect out of it. So you know, you can't, sp so you can't spend five dollars. On a loot box, but you can spend 500 gold that you've gotten from playing the game yeah. on the loot box. That I think is a fair compromise because you know, you know, the game is still being sold, and they're st and they're still running this you know this, this little mechanic that they have going. On. But you're also not but you're also not taking advantage of people with addiction problems. You're Actually, not taking advantage of kids. Yeah, there's that still a way around like, that. Well, but it sounds like grinding promotes addictive. Uh, you know, marathon playing. Yeah. And, and that it encourages the gameplay and all the worst parts of the gameplay, which is I can't, I prioritize it over everything else. I need just this one little loot box so I can get to the next level or get to my level so I can get back to the Yeah, right? And then so, there's, there's people, you know, there's whole communities in China who just sit there and play these things to build up the. 500 gold so that they can sell their character to someone you know, yeah, it's yeah, way yeah, out of the exclusively. Well, yeah. I, I know a basement in Fort Collins was <laughs> 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 yeah. but, 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 but you don't have to you know, you know if, if the game is fun, then you can do it. If you're you know, if you're if you're capable of saying, hey, I'm not having fun playing the game anymore, and I'm not just I'm not getting anything out of the grind. Then you know you can't walk away. There's some people who can't. Right. Exactly. And you know I would recommend that those people go visit the video game treatment. The video game treatment. Plan. I see nothing wrong with labels. People have labels on cigarettes. They have labels on food. There's all kinds of. Um, yeah. Age restrictions. Low level right regulations. Mm -hmm. But I think should because they're targeted towards children. Yeah. 
videos should be placed on the video games. And I, and I, and I, and I, if they're going to be interactive yeah. <laughs> in a retail environment. And I, and I, and I, and I do <laughs> tell parents you know, that I talk to <laughs> play the game yourself. For starters, oh, yeah, yeah, to determine yeah. that you know the content. Yeah, yeah. I tell them you know that if perfect. they're worried about violence in a game, uh, people play the game yourself first. Yeah. first. Yeah. But that's what that's what yeah. my parents did. They played all the games. And they were looking for a team for a team, and then they said, yeah, "You know what? We're not gonna let our kids play." So, and they didn't let us play. Yeah, they're, um, yeah, they're just gonna. Uh, you can only play it as your friends. Yeah, right now, and then yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they did it, and that's how I got around that. But, get, but you can't stay at your friend's house forever. Yeah. Yeah. But I think I, think I you hear what you're saying is calling for industry to uh, to be honest, to uh, have disclaimers, to have um, some access to the finance behind it. Because just like the tobacco industry refused to release information, scientific information about their product and the things that make uh, tobacco addictive, or tobacco products, I should say, um, they refused to be forthcoming with that information. They refused, they knew. Yeah, and they yeah. still marketed it as, I'm an independent woman, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I don't, I don't think it's, uh, so I, what I hear is that that Kayla was calling for some kind of accountability yep. and and ownership of the potential of this because they didn't did they set up addiction centers no. to help no. no that came from no. people they, reacting to it <coughs> we know that these things are addictive we know that these patterns of behavior encourage <coughs> people and they're not and so do the video game. Well, that's what I mean. So, so and, just like with the and, tobacco industry, we so know. And to the point about labeling, I think the industry needs to be doing a lot more for labeling yeah. because, I mean, you know, they're, they're introducing the label in-app purchases. That doesn't mean anything. There's in-app purchases in literally every game out there. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, you know, and they're not, and, you know, in-app purchases could mean anything. It can mean DLC, it can mean microtransactions, it can mean loot boxes. I think if they're a loot box, they should say, does contain gambling elements. Or contains a gambling mechanic. I don't know. I'm having a hard time seeing the difference between this and just exploitive marketing in general. I mean, like iPhones. You know, there's a there's a group of people who are addicted to iPhones that absolutely have to buy the latest. Don't you take this away from me? Oh, now wait a second. Slow down. Just have the video games are being specifically targeted. Yeah. Quit smoking and then start getting out later. Yeah. Under age twenty. You know. You know what you're getting. You know what you're getting with iPhone. But if you're buying a video game, you're not necessarily so expecting for there to be a security So, whether they need the security, you know what you're getting any sort of disclaimer like. Or, or, or even yeah. tell you what your chances yeah. are. They, there, is, there, is, there, are, there are some gaming companies that do disclose the drop rates for stuff. Um, but it's not but it's not it's not uniform. So some companies will do it. Some companies will just not will just say, you know what, we could be including loot boxes in this, but we're not. Um, but not everyone is. And you know, if then you know, yeah, you know, if there was if you if the loot if the drop rates were released, then yeah, you could be like, so this ultra rare item, how what's my likelihood of getting that? Right. Oh, it's a hundred it's a thousand to one? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So you're saying it's possible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's it's possible. Well, yeah. Or but then you know what your what the possibilities yeah. are. You're, what are your chances yeah, yeah. Of you at least know what you're getting into. Somebody's right. gonna get it. Yeah, some, you some people, yeah. 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 Or, you know, I don't really care. I mean, if they're only giving one in, you know, a million, I don't think you want it on that. Did you see the, the EA stock price when that uh, battlefront thing yeah. happened? Yeah. So at the, the peak of the outrage, it would end about 100. I mean, look at the stock price of the right now it's higher it's than It's up over, yeah. Because, well, I mean, they it's... Do it right. yeah, yeah, I mean, that's what they're, I mean, that's what, that's, 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 yeah. that's, that's the business plan. Yeah, the outrage. You wait, you wait, you wait until the outrage is over, and then you double down and do something else. So what next are they going to do? Well, they're they're covering a little bit We do have we do have some inkling as to what they're considering doing. Um, if um, Activision Blizzard actually released, actually got a patent 
on, um, on a code, on a particular kind of code that deals with matchmaking. So, um, the matchmaking is, you know, you go and you, you, know, you click the multiplayer option and it sorts you into a group of randomized people on the internet. Well, what Activision has, pa has patented is a process by which it determines if you bought something, if you bought, if you bought DLC, or if you bought a loot box, or if you bought a specific kind of stuff. And if you have it, it'll, pa it'll, pair, it'll pair you with someone who does. And they, 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 now that they, they've, in, in fairness, they've said they're not going to do this. Of course not. But, of course not. not the, fact, the fact that it's now patented, yeah. it's out there, Some and world. someone had the idea. So do these companies have psychologists working for them? Yes. And if they do, uh, what are what's the APA? Thinking of this, have they made any statements about Actually, psychologists aiding this? Yes, mm -hmm. well, clear so, psycho psycho psychologists on their own are weighing in on this. I don't know if the APA has actually released anything. I should probably look that up. Mm -hmm. um, A new edition of their style book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> When I got the <coughs> really quick question, I want to know how you said that there was a quote you said about the entertainment, and I didn't get the rest of it. It says it's your choice to buy is something a slide earlier on. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the entertainment what? The, the Electronic Software Association. It wasn't entertainment in there. Uh, no, no. Electronic it's, Software Association. Yeah. The, the two, the two, the two. Uh, apparatuses of the, the game industry here, the Electronic Software Association, which lobbies on the industry's behalf in Congress, and the Electronic Software Rating Board, that, which is not a, which is actually not a government entity. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a board of it's it's a board of industry professionals that look at games and decide, you know, what content's in it and how should and you know who should be playing this game. Okay, I got one more really quick quick thing. If only we could take this and use it. I know they're doing it with uh, gaming, with like gene folding and things like that for children. I mean, people who are actually using the the gaming philosophy, the gaming games to actually do real science. And if only we could really change that that these kids were actually doing something really constructive. But I do know that this thing uh, exists about gene folding. That they're taking people and mm -hmm. and having them fold genes. Fold. It's actually. Yep. Doing that, if only we could use this for good, you know what I mean, instead of having oh, to regulate it. Well, there's the but add some loot boxes in there for something. Else. <laughs> <laughs> are we all know, are we all know loot there's boxes no money for orphans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> some kind of reverse thing. Because there are, um, there are some games or even websites that are now proposing that instead of uh, barraging you with ads, that they actually mine Bitcoin on your computer while you're looking on at their site so that they can make money off of that. Oh, so that basically, that. you're, you're paying them with electricity, basically. Uh, crashes. They're, 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 they're utilizing that. 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 They're util